Lithium ion costs too much and is limited in its performance by the materials that make up the lithium ion battery. So Jay Caesar has 20 institutional partners, including national labs, including universities, including private companies, that all work together to develop the next generation of battery. So there are many ways in which batteries can transform the grid. The electricity grid as it's operating now and has operated for a century or more has a very fundamental constraint. You have to produce electricity at exactly the same rate that you use it. To dramatize that, think if the same principle applied to your personal finances. So you had to spend money exactly as fast as you made it. You couldn't save for a college education, you couldn't save for a house, and you might conclude, as the grid has done, that there's no reason to work unless you want to buy something. That is a terribly inefficient way of operating. And transportation fuels are about 90% oil, so this is a real lack of diversification. If we go to electric cars, we can get our energy from whatever powers the electric grid. So that could be natural gas, it could be nuclear reactor, which produces no carbon dioxide, it could be solar or wind, which are nearly completely sustainable, or it could be hydropower. And with this kind of diversity, suddenly our transportation system becomes much less dependent on oil, including foreign oil, and we can be much easier on the environment.